Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome. My name is Maddie and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'll be watching episode 6 of season 2 of Fruits Basket in Dub. Again we have another dub episode out on Monday so looks like they're really pushing out for a weekly Monday release for the dub which again so thankful for so I'm so happy it's here. For this reaction or commentary I'm going to allow myself to talk about manga spoilers if I need to. I got this idea because my good pal and fellow reactor, Panda Bears Are Epic, has been doing this for her re-reactions to the episodes of the dub that have yet to be released, and I really liked that idea because though I have some things to talk about during the dub, you know, commenting on the voice acting, that's pretty much all I have to talk about since I've already watched the episode. So if I get anywhere in the reaction where I want to expand on spoilers, like if something comes up that's like foreshadowing that I want to talk about, I'm going to allow myself to do that because that's actually something I really want to do because I love talking about manga spoilers, but I try to hold myself back because I don't want to spoil anime only watching this. But for my re-reactions, I think I'm just going to allow myself to talk about spoilers. That being said, if you are an anime only, have not read the manga, I would recommend not to watch this video just in case I end up talking about spoilers. So I'd recommend to leave, please, because I don't want to spoil you. And I'm sorry if I'm kicking you out because of that. <laughs> but anyway, let's just get right into the episode and... Here our favorite dove cast again. I'm super excited. Uh, A scary one. <laughs> and you know, on days like today, they appear. Huh? They who? During the it's summer, like, they're very common. Who are they? Are you just very making common. something up? It's <laughs> such a tease. Wait, what? You're scaring me. Who, who's coming? <laughs> it's Momiji that's coming. To the we beach. Let's go to the remember? beach. <laughs> so, I reserved one of the summer vacation houses for us. Our ultimate summer getaway officially begins tomorrow. What? Hold on. A getaway? Vacation house? Well, at least it's not a haunted house this time. <laughs> a fancy getaway, huh? That's right. They just came back from the haunted house. Are you staying in a haunted house? Or is it? You don't know that yet. <laughs> And a lot of them opted out not to go because Akito is there, which is a good idea. <laughs> oh, come on. You know you want to because Kisa's going. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> like, no hesitation. Later. Such a liar. Good. But someone is not done yet. <laughs> the, the, just the gloom that dawns on her. Can't wait. He's been up in his room for a while resting. Then I'm off. He needs to know about the big plans. Good luck, Dodo. Thank you. There right. it is. Get this done. The mysterious hat. That's not so mysterious anymore. We know what's up. Hey, what's up? You sick? Just tired, that's all. I didn't realize this while watching this episode for the first time. But 
Theo's tired because it's raining outside. I don't know why I didn't put two and two together. I should know this. I feel like such a fake fan. Oh my god. <laughs> No. Wait, the beach? Tomorrow? <laughs> That's for the short notice. Oh, for the short notice. You know, I know, he should have notified them a lot earlier. Stop bugging me, will ya? Tomorrow will be really sad if you don't come. We've got big plans. Swimming in fireworks. I said this you know he's not going to swim, though. Or that is he? But he doesn't like swimming. <laughs> That's right. It'll be fun. Know the best part? I'm going to get some stag pigeons. No, you're a really weird kid. <laughs> but we love him. I love his quirkiness. <laughs> I think I finally understand what to do. Okay, good. You should be able to finish now. Thank you so much. Uh, I was just wondering. Is it yours? Oh, you know it ain't. Right in front of you, girl. <laughs> but like I said, that story is not complete yet. So, just wait. I'm acting like I can't talk about spoilers. I forgot. We know who else hat it is. I can't wait for, like, Kyo's story with the hat to be revealed, too. It's like a lot of people are like, oh, okay. The story with the hat is over. Um, just you wait. It involves both boys. Bye bye, Stone. So you're not coming? He seems pretty excited about it yesterday. Well, I have some work to do after. Now he's like being serious. I'm like, he's like, oh, yes, I do have some work to do. What is it? I won't be there to supervise. So you two have to protect our sweet Toru. Oh, they they do that naturally. Okay. Here comes my favorite girl. I'm so happy to hear her more. You can come out now. She's so gorgeous. What a goddess. Like seriously. Before going on, like I want to mention how much I forgot that this scene was supposed to be really sketchy. I just completely forgot about that while watching this episode for the first time. But yeah, um, the the assumption is that Shigure and Rin have a relationship, but they don't. <laughs> and I forgot that that would be the point of view of a newbie because I read this manga so long ago I don't remember a lot of my initial thoughts like all that was on my mind is like oh yeah she's like there trying to break the curse that's why she's there to ask she great questions and she's willing to do anything to get those answers if you know what I mean but newbies don't understand that she's doing this for a reason to break the curse and to free Haru from the curse so sometimes I forget what it's like to watch this show for the first time because I am not a newbie so it's hard for me to think of how an anime only would take it but it completely makes sense <laughs> Please, tell me. And 
Why would I do that? Do I seem like such a simple man? You don't. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> then are you really this stupid? Or is playing the fool all part of your grand plan? He, he does know she has some sort of plan. And like Shigar doesn't help because he's naturally the way he talks makes him seem very sketchy. <laughs> now we at the beach again. So where things get real. Yes. Not yet. Made you so sure. Oh, no. She's out here in a tight swimsuit that's basically like cat to have. <laughs> but he ain't like wrong. <laughs> Just talking like a normal teenager. What do you know about being a normal teenager, you freak? Hero! Don't you want to go swim too? Ha. Unlike some other people, I have self control. Silly child. Self control? This is like, what do you come to the beach for? I mean, part of it should be to also swim. Although, whenever I go to the beach, I usually don't swim, so who am I to talk? She's such a good swimmer! Kyo's like, no, she ain't. I know. We've talked about this. Watching. Oh my gosh, that melts my heart. When did Kyo get over there? I'll do it again. Faster this time. What did I just tell yeah. Stick to sandcastles. <laughs> oh, she'll make she'll make sandcastles later. You both I'll will. Teach her how to breathe while she's swimming. <laughs> Jeez. What's up with the giggle fest? <laughs> this is just so much fun. Oh. Yeah, he ain't staying there until you drag him back in <laughs> by force. <laughs> that face kills me. It ain't right. Um, has to do with the heat, cause <laughs> he gets a fever later. Poor thing. Sure. Bring me a do. Shut up, you cutie rabbit. I'm fine. Lost in thought, I guess. It's a bad habit. I have to snap out of it though, or Miss Hondo will start to worry about me. Like always, and she does start to worry because. Yuki's obviously keeping some things in. <laughs> We're gonna race. Let's go. I don't want to race. Stop. To kill oh, you you'll want to race. <laughs> I like your swimsuit. It looks cute. Oh, thanks. I mean, it's really nice of you to say. I Toru always looks adorable. <laughs> Ears. I always have to call them out. <laughs> All right, bring it on. Rat, you're going down. Too bad we don't actually see the race. <laughs> you said I feel used. I mean, sort of. They have to go a long walk to get to the house from the beach. Where's the cat? You guys need to take a shuttle. So we headed back early to sulk in private. Hero's probably like, I want to be roommates with her. <laughs> I think he has that kind of decency at least. Oh, no. Mom, no. 
she almost got lost. Thank you so much for picking it up. That was a close one. So what's the deal? Why do you only carry a photo of your mom? Shouldn't you have one of your dad too? Here we go again. It's always her. Mom this and mom that, but you had another parent. She's all you ever talk about though. Sounds like you've got some real issues. I mean, is that all? Uh, look, like I said, he ain't wrong, but he could have been nicer about it. But it's just hero. Everything he says has to come out aggressive. Now you've upset the one girl you love. <laughs> now? It wasn't a big deal or anything. It didn't seem like it bothered her at all. You think you could tell if it had bothered her? How could you? You don't know her. What's in her heart? What feeling she keeps buried deep inside? It might not seem like a big deal to you, but you don't know for sure. Right, you don't. We never know what's really going on with someone. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. And Toru and keeps so much stuff inside either. that there's a lot that no one really knows. Are you only here to make things harder on Toto? Oh. Why? Why do I always do this? I came for you. That hurts because me. I thought it would make you happy. <laughs> See, even he's like, so of course, I really, of course, she must have them too. Mm hmm. Things buried in her heart that no one else can feel. Oh, that was so well delivered. Yes, that was awesome. <laughs> I think he's the latter, because Haru naturally cares about all the young ones. But you are right, girl. them so much like I want them together <laughs> I hope after the manga ended like they actually pursued each other like seriously because they are soulmates <laughs> Not this to get. Oh my gosh. That was, oh my gosh, the way she said that was like the most emotional I've heard Toru this season. No, she's overdoing it. That's a bad thing. Like, she really does look like she's overdoing it, even though she is naturally cheerful, but, like, she's pushing it unnaturally. He's always up early, getting that workout in, like, goals. <laughs> Mm. 
mm -hmm. again. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you have any evidence to suggest I might be responsible for such a thing? I don't know what happened exactly, but she just seems sort of down. She seems down when she's right. like this is appears so really happy. Mm hmm I love how like well Kiel can read her out of everyone. He picks up on people's emotions really well too. Which is awesome. It's one thing Akito and I have in common. We hate summer, we hate the heat. And it shouldn't be that way. He's still his own person. Ah, uh -huh, yes. <laughs> the first time I watched that, I didn't realize that was Hero's mom. But that's Hero's mom. <laughs> I can't wait to actually like see her. She's the best mom, the best Zodiac parent out of all of them. She's the mom all these kids need, for sure. <laughs> No, it's not. Just go away. <laughs> what? Don't. Smiling. You have a problem with that? A problem? No, certainly not. Quite the contrary, as a matter of fact. I was just going to suggest that you come to the house as well. I want to hate him for inviting her, but, like, he's doing this to drive things forward to make a change, so... I have so many mixed emotions on Shigure. So many. <laughs> but you know how easily she worries about stuff like that. No matter how minuscule it is. She has, I mean, he has Toru there. <laughs> He'll be fine. He's gonna open up someday. Like my one of my favorite scenes is near the end, uh, like last few pages of the manga, where he actually fully opens up to her and thanks her for just everything before she leaves t to um, move out with Kyo, and he calls her by her first name to her for the first time. That was such a sweet moment. And what's interesting is, sometime later after I read the manga, that that was actually the scene that sparked the whole idea for the series, which is really interesting. Like, that scene alone was the initial idea for the series, and then, you know, the whole zodiac thing happened around it i thought that was pretty interesting because like yuki and toru's relationship was the initial inspiration for the series i guess She's just like, oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> and there he is. But like I said, the story ain't over yet. The hypothetical lid. 
she's like, yep, I gotta do the same. She's still keeping things in, so. Aw, oh, good. That was good. So, if everything goes according to schedule and there's episode 7 on Monday, I'll be back for that. Be sure you do look out for that if you are interested in seeing it. But for now, I'm gonna go watch the new episode today, episode 9. I specifically wanted to do this video first because I feel like there's a huge chance I'm gonna cry during episode 9 and I didn't want to film my reaction to this dub episode with a face full of tears just in case that happens. <laughs> so I made sure to film this one first but I am ready to go see episode 9 so let's do it and that video should be out by now so if you want to see my reaction to episode 9. Be sure to check that out because it's going to be an emotional roller coaster. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more anime related videos and anime reactions and also be sure to click that bell icon beside the subscribe button if you want to be notified for whenever I post a new video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!